YouTube, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host TKK and we are back with another video. Today we are going to be doing a brief review of the Marvel vs. Capcom 2 Arcade 1UP Arcade Cabinet. Man, look, this is the third one of these that I've owned. I purchased the first a couple of years ago. I got the Street Fighter Cabinet for about 70 bucks without the riser. I then went and bought the Marvel vs. Capcom 1 from a friend of mine. He was just looking to get $300 for the cabinet with the riser. So I bought it because he put like hat buttons and stuff into it. So I thought it would be a good deal. And, uh, you know, I seen this and I said, man, let me just go ahead and add it into the collection. Not really the biggest fan with these, but this cabinet does look pretty cool. More of a novelty in my opinion. But I'm interested in just seeing how it really sets up and how it looks. And I uh, thought that, you know, being a person that has played Marvel vs. Capcom 2 in the past, um, I would, you know, be in a good position to speak about this thing. So it does come with a few games. Marvel vs. Capcom 2 is going to be the biggest thing. They've got the free Marvel vs. Capcom 2 campaign. So it's really nice. This game is actually seeing the day of life again and with some online connectivity also you do not need a subscription to play with this so there's no monthly fees or anything which is pretty awesome these arcade one up cabinets um i believe have like an android based operating system but outside of the marvel 2 everything else is what you previously got in the marvel 1 cabinet i'll show you that in a second once i get this put together so this is a list of titles this is not going to be a how to build video. There is plenty of content around this. I'm just honestly putting in my my uh, putting my name into the hat. So let's get this thing together and take a look at it. OK, guys. We got this thing built. I got to get the riser put together, but it's pretty clean. It's a very nice, very attractive side panel. I am not a big collector of these things, so I do like the coin door. Um, that's that's a nice touch. They've got an LED strip behind here, so when this gets powered on, I'll turn it on later. It does light up, so that's pretty nice. I can respect the business model. I, I can absolutely. These things are just too small. Um, so my opinion for me, like just at this point, um, this is an expensive trophy, if you will. Um, I think it's a nice collector's piece. Um, if you are solo looking to just kind of get into some gaming, I think this is a nice piece. Uh, what I will tell you is that I'm going to switch the buttons and the sticks. <clears throat> Pardon me because they just equipped this thing with some nonsense. Um, just, it's not too good. Uh, my buddy that I got this Marvel versus Capcom cabinet from, like I said, I paid 300 for this. He got it equipped with essentially the same stuff that I got in my big blue cabinet. Um, and so I haven't done anything with this. I plan on completely modding this and getting a black riser, but That'll be a project for another day, but this thing is pretty awesome. So going to finish getting it assembled and uh, we'll be back in the next transition. So as of right now, I'm not going to do sound was and it's going to sound crazy because the transitions are immediate, but obviously there's time lapse in between them. But I like that they, they have like a, it was like a, eight way on there um you know i'm not gonna be doing any crazy real plan on this so i made the decision to not but this thing looks really clean i ain't gonna lie <laughs> get this riser put together stand him on up all right so first time boot up on this thing <laughs> Let's rock. Yeah. Definitely some latency there. 
by way of um, audio. The sound is really good though. Ooh, that sound is good. Let's go ahead and get this set up. Let me just take a moment and plug in my arcade cabinet and a couple of projects that I've got going on. Currently I've got Big Blue. Um, we've done a couple of videos and there's some more work I'd like to do to it. Actually, I'll go ahead and cart in a video because I know that the Arcade One Up community consists of a lot of OG arcade owners. And so if you guys have got any intelligence on the Sega Naomi, I'm having some problems. I have not been able to immediately iron out. Um, so I would appreciate any help. But I've got these guys here. This is like my little arcade room. I've got an extension cabinet. This company no longer um, making these, but I'm glad I got one. I've got the 4K BenQ Morbius monitor there. So PlayStation 5 under with a Vulix um, arcade. And this right here is my pride and joy. It's my first uh, Chulix um, Vulix clone arcade cabinet. I got it decked out. We've got two videos on the channel currently with this build. Um, it was pretty bare and uh, I've customized it to my liking with the aesthetics. We've got one more video coming up where I'm finalizing it, showing how everything went with this and then there's the first um, arcade one-up cabinet I did get for 70 bucks um, now I can actually offer you guys my opinion on this thing and closing it out so I'm actually in the process of uh, getting ready to render this so got a couple of more um, video transitions and then we're gonna wrap this thing on up all right so there is an update this is updating connected to the Wi-Fi I will tell you just navigating through putting my password in the controls feel a lot better than um, any arcade one-up experience I've had and I'm gonna be honest with you I've not had many the only experience I've had is with the Street Fighter the original arcade one-up um, All right, so I'm gonna give this thing a, just a quick um, test to see what the controls are like this is why in the previous transition I elected to not change the controls because this is supposed to be a partial review and I just want to see you know how good it actually functions in gameplay but going to the menu we've got Marvel 2 Marvel 1 You've got Marvel Super Heroes versus Street Fighter. We used to call it MBS. You've got uh, X versus S. You've got a Marvel Super Heroes, Children of the Atom. Uh, you've got Mutant Apocalypse on here. And then you also have War of the Gems. Um, like I said, a big focus point is Marvel 2. Um, specifies there's uh, no online lobbies. I've yet to create an account too. So you would go up top. You would hit the A button, uh, which is jab and kind of do an account setup. So it's gonna go ahead and jump into Marvel 2. And just running the first initial attraction and a presentation that looks all really nice and tight. The colors are nice on this monitor. This does use the BOE. Um, I will say that the marquee um, looks nice. I like the marquee on the Marvel vs. Capcom 1 cabinet better. But uh, let's get into some gameplay. You do have an option before you start the game to just force turbo or to leave it on a free free select I 
twice. Controls aren't too bad. So just to kind of close things up, um, this is a brief review. Just keep in mind, it's kind of more so like a quick view, um, just putting it together and just giving you my initial thoughts on this. Uh, I think the reality is that for six hundred dollars, um, in my personal opinion, it's only something that you should buy if you know that it's it's OK for you. It's cool for you. Um, it's a cool piece of technology because it is moddable. So if you did want to take, you know, plan on it um, serious, you could you could definitely do so. Uh, the controls that are on the system are definitely better than my uh, previous experience with the original um, Street Fighter cabinet. That one didn't, it, it wasn't enjoyable at all for me just because it just, it it didn't control itself well. It was just, it was really bad. Um, it's like Samwa clone looking sticks, but they just, they were just like, I don't know, just seemed like there was no real effort put to it. And then this, the, the audio on the first cabinet was just pretty bad too. So this has come a long way. So I can really understand why there's a culture behind people buying into these cabinets. And again, there's a lot of respectful people that um, actually collect like original arcade cabinets. So there's, there's, there's a market for this and there is a community here for this. And so it matters for the online and it makes a lot of sense uh, for me. Not so much though. Um, I spent the $600 on it because it's cool. I like Marvel 2. I used to play the game competitively um, before I put down versus series games. I had a good time with it in arcade play. So the biggest thing for me is like Marvel is one of those games that you really got to get busy on. So I really feel like Samwa is a very good um, style of sticks to go with just because you want something that you can really you can control without having to control a lot. If that makes any sense, like in the original arcade, kind of like my big blue that's in the middle behind me, the cabinet's big, so the, the arcade sticks, the American sticks are like, you can get down and work on those things, but you've got a lot of real estate with the cabinet to, to maneuver around, especially when you've got two people. I don't see how two people can really get busy and have a good time on the Marvel 2 cabinet. Um, with that being said, if this is purchased for like a single person, I mean, you, you kind of can look at it like, hey, if one stick and one set of buttons go out, you do got another one. So that's kind of cool. Uh, I think ultimately it will lead you down a rabbit hole where you can experiment with getting into the fighting game community, too, because, I mean, there's always a positive that you can see in every negative. Um, top that off. I'm reading. Actually, I posted the fact that I got this cabinet in my com community tab yesterday. This is like the next day from when I posted that in the tab. And I had a couple of people say, hey, man, they've had some bad experiences with this thing so far. Uh, some things that I noticed so far, I've seen some dips in frame rates. Um, I don't have like fraps or anything to test that out. But, you know, I can I, I played enough fighting games in my in my years of playing fighting games. And uh, sometimes it seems like it dropped below 60 frames. Um, outside of that, the audio. It, at times off a little bit um i don't know it, it, it could be just you know expectations of that you know that dreamcast uh, experience or you know if you're like me and you've been around long enough actually playing in the arcade right before arcades kind of went away um what else do i want to put in i think that fightcade is something that you guys should be considering too i don't know who will see this video um uh, a lot of my content is around like televisions and and i'm trying to dive into you know, speaking and articulating myself better in the PC realm of things. Those are like my two niche lines of uh, lanes on YouTube, if you will. But uh, something like this, if you happen to see this arcade um, uh, review, then definitely Fight Kate is something really good. Doesn't take a crazy PC. My Vulix cabinet, if I didn't card it in, I'll card it in now. Um, I have that set up for Fight K. And so I think ultimately, like, there are better ways. But these products are really cool. They're really cool products to have. 
Um, I think that the Marvel vs. Capcom 2 cabinet is worth the wait, though. I know it's sold out now. I know it's trending, and like a lot of people are just like, man, I want to get that. We're also going into the holiday season, too. So a lot of places that you buy stuff from, you will get an extended return period. So just be conscious of that. If you do invest in this, you're not absolutely stuck with it. But for right now, I mean, what are you really getting? If you already have the Marvel vs. Capcom 1 cabinet, kind of like I do, it would, it would be a redundant purchase um, outside of Marvel 2. And the thing is with Marvel 2 right now, there's no online play. So, you know, are you buying this just so you can play the computer? I don't know because, you know, the, I had to set the thing up and they already got it set up where you got all the characters unlocked. To be honest with you, I would have been fine if they would have not had the characters unlocked. Like, don't unlock the characters especially if you knew that you had like a month or however long it's going to be with no online play you give your community enough time to get into a position where they can spend time with this thing right another thing i've seen some like pro rated cabinets this would have been a good option to be like a pro rated cabinet charge another 100 150 bucks more put some better controls in this thing like i understand that you can modify it. i understand that they've gotten better with the controls my experience over the first generation of cabinets to this one much better right but still get to a point where you are treating it like it is truly something that you want to be taken serious um especially partner up with people like justin wong like i've seen he has some videos talking about this thing like my expectations off of seeing that would be that out the box this thing is set to go it's flawless absolutely perfect um you know if we can get a good representation of what we're playing on fight k i understand that they're using emulation and different things might be some legality issues there but i would expect this thing to just be flawless out the box and it's not it's just not right um so if you can afford to just spend the 600 and know that you're not getting in my opinion right now a definitive product then this is perfect for you but if not then definitely hold off on this thing um but that's what i got let me know what you guys thought about this review this quick view if you'd like to see more content like this definitely subscribe um you know you never know i might pick up some random stuff but i had my eyes on this i knew i was going to get it uh, even though i had bought that one from my boy um the marvel one capcom um marvel vs capcom one cabinet i knew i was getting this but i'm gonna catch you guys on the next video peace god bless max love